recap. So, thus far, what has occurred? Um, dot, dot, dot has come to the group uh, with this job to break into the Riddler's base and steal back, I guess, um, the basilisks, which are the brain-breaking images that uh, in in uh, it either paralyze you if you look at them, if you're lucky, or just straight up kill you if you aren't. You are, you have all agreed to the heist. You have gotten together uh, at Goth Bucks and done your planning, and you have begun your infiltration of the Riddler's base, uh, which is uh, the entrance is contiguous with the Ace Chemical Tower, which we know that Ollie has an interest in as they have just learned that Ace Chemical, um, the Ace Chemical uh, company was sending their scientists to experiment on poison ivy at Arkham. So you, uh, your, your plan immediately went off the rails of course, uh, as the Riddler pulled up right away, him himself in the flesh, grabbed Adam and uh, and took him back into the base while Ollie, Ed, and Jackie were left outside standing in the alley by the loading dock entrance to the base. Just kind of, well, now what? But... The three of you did manage to get in. Um, you had a very fun time with the security in the in the. Um, I forget what I described it as the welcome area isn't right, lobby isn't right, reception, uh, the reception area of the base. You had a very fun time with the security folks there, and by fun I mean violent, and. You, uh, you were recorded on camera, so we don't know what the implications of that are quite yet, but that also occurred. However, you managed to make it out of reception into the further into the base, and your backup plan was if you, if any of you got separated to link up together at the break room cafeteria, the Riddler employee break room, which you have managed to do. And so that's where we're going to start. I'm pretty sure that Ed did hack into the security footage or tried to. Uh, yes, I did at the beginning and had, um, I set the cameras like the loop. The loop, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you definitely looped the first incident. You definitely looped the security camera footage over the first incident where Jackie knocked out, quote and unquote, the uh, twins manning the reception desk who she knows because they used to be Two-Face gang members before they were Riddler gang members. Um, there is a clock going for just y'all getting detected and it is a six clock and you do have one segment checked so uh whether it's that security camera It'll or another fine. one that clock is filling up or has the potential to worry. yeah don't worry about it we got it all under control oh nobody panic all right if you say so <laughs> so yeah everybody cool with that yeah. thus far cool Oh, right. right. Wait, um, <laughs> did, sorry, did you mention that, uh, the other person we faced, what was her name again? Her, she was full stop. Full stop. Oh, full oh, stop. Oh, right. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Full stop. We didn't give her, like, a, a civilian name. We only know her code name. But her yes. code name, and her Riddler code name is full stop. She is married to my ex-wife and... Um, so I had to try and get my new friend or old friend, um, 
who works in like admin or like yeah bill to bill lundegaard yeah. aka percentile who is yes. the riddler's head accountant uh, and, and was very excited to boy. see you yeah, you you asked if Bill would go swing by HR and make sure that her file got reinstated after you spitefully <laughs> deleted it out of Pretty the good. system. All right. So that's where we are. All right. We resume with the four of you in the break room at Riddler's base. You are in this large square room low ceilinged uh, with these concrete slab tables throughout the room surrounded by green and purple plastic cafeteria chairs there's um, some of those like sad ferns or ficuses in concrete planters in the corner of the room um, are they real are they fake who can say are they alive dead we don't know. It's a mystery. Only Poison Ivy will be able to determine. It's a riddle, really. Oh, God. No. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's a riddle, and mm -hmm. none of you have the answer. In the background, we hear the hum of lights overhead and this bank of vending machines along the wall. There's a wall near the double doors that enter into the cafeteria from the hallway and they're lined with around 10 or so vending machines. These vending machines are just these big green and purple boxes. They have no windows. They have no labels. It's just big box with the button panel that has, you know, coin, dollar, tap, payment, insert, uh, and just these glowing alphanumeric buttons. Uh, there's no indication as to what is inside any of these machines. As we've previously established, um, the Riddler keeps his vending machines extremely well stocked. You could potentially get anything out of one of these if you're lucky enough, or if you solve some sort of esoteric code that the Riddler has set up to get to the right item but nobody really these certainly aren't shared nobody knows what they are day to day um and ed and dot 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 you would be most familiar with this system where when you're on your break if you want a snack you go in and you just sort of try your luck at the vending machines and you get what you get sometimes it's even food which is great so uh, oh, very we... Skinner boxy. Yeah, yeah. Um, just, just poking that button over and over again, and uh, you'll see what you get. So that is where we join the four of you. Um, you have a bit of an opportunity for a breather right now. You at. Uh, the one person who is in the here left, right, Bill. And the the room is currently empty except for the four of you. So you basically, you can chill out here. Somebody could come in at literally any moment. And it could be anybody who is in the base, including, I would remind you, any of the folks whose various accessories, Riddler outfit accessories, you stole to attempt to pass yourself off as employees. So they, I think, would clock you pretty quickly if you are especially unlucky and one of them happens to walk Oh, boy. Here. Yeah. Good thing yeah. we yeah. are historically very lucky and nothing ever goes wrong in that way. It's never Don't happened. Don't worry about it. It's never happened. You're so good. So you do have at least a limited period where you can rest and recover, and we're going to take that opportunity to run through downtime. So first item of business on the downtime list is, of course, recuperate. Um, however, we're going to switch this up. 
So normally you get to recuperate and reduce your harm, right? And then your stress is, is cleared uh, in conjunction with a roll where we see if clearing your stress gets you into trouble. Now, I'd like to, with the presence of these vending machines, flip it around a little bit. So what we're gonna get is, your stress is just gonna clear. So everybody is, is going to be able to clear all of their stress that they've built up thus far. However, for harm, you need to figure out how you can get some sort of medical supplies out of these vending machines. So anybody who wants to recuperate and clear harm, I'm going to ask you to make a roll to see what you get out of the vending machines. So we're flipping whether you wow. roll for stress clearing or Incredible. whether you roll for harm clearing for this downtime. Um, and then of course, Everybody gets to refresh all of your equipment. So any equipment that you have marked, you are free to uh, unmark uh, or keep marked as you liked. I, I know a couple of people have pieces of equipment floating around that they still want to have. So keep that for sure if you want it. But anything you want to clear, you can clear. We'll say you stashed it back in your, you know, backpack, tool belt, fanny pack, whatever. I keep um, it in my clipboard. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got the, you got the box clipboard. Stash it in there. Dot dot dot. You are you've you've come down like a, a notch or two from where you were when you first looked at your new anger-inducing basilisk. Um, but you're still you're still hyped up over your baseline for sure. You're still you've got that sort of like you've gone from that like white hot rage. I think that like very immediate. I am fucking pissed at everything to more of that like low level i am kind of annoyed at everything right now and any like any sort of little thing could tip you back over the edge i think that's kind of where you are right and be so i want to go around and and figure out what everybody does to clear to to blow off some stress in this you know these couple of moments that you have in the break room uh, let's start with dot 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 in this uh, in this slightly uh, in this you know you're just grumpy man you're, you're just, just grumpy a, just a grumpy ass dude that's okay yeah um so uh, dot 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 is like still kind of in his head a little bit and he is very familiar with the lounge room um, and. Uh, he just sits over at one of the tables, uh, pulls out something to just start like etching into the, um, into the like kind of cafeteria tables. Mm. Just doesn't even like make like a representational image. It's just kind of marks just to get out that excess energy. Yeah. Um, but it's mostly just kind of like straight kind of slashes into this table. But yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we we just we just sort of see you like going to town on this table in the corner. Uh, yeah. Does anybody note this behavior and approach, or are y'all like, let's let's give Adam his time? I think uh, I, I think seems... Ollie would definitely. Everybody, I, I I think Ollie yeah. sees the look on Jackie's face and the look on Ed's face. And yeah, kind of the goes, very wide eyes. Like, there's there's no way the three of us don't see. Wait, <laughs> what exactly are you jamming into the table? It's a great question. Um, it's something that have would on scratch me? concrete. So you something know, something strong some, enough some for sort of concrete. Like, yeah. Screwdriver. I feel like is a good. screwdriver is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so say yeah, that uh, so, someone that maybe has some immediate experience with watching somebody having a clear anger management problem, Jackie is going to come over and put a hand on your shoulder. <laughs> good. But I will be. Just need to get out this energy. 
uh, you know, far be it for me to tell you how you should handle your stress, but, uh, all right. Okay. Hey, 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 uh, uh, dot, dot, dot. Right. Thank um, you. you're welcome. Look, we're all okay. Is it still going to go? We're, we're still on. I, I know that Bassett is extremely frustrating and not, nah, you know, fuck it. You, you haven't done this before, have you? No, I have not. But it's going to be okay. There's, a, there's always a moment in a job where you think everything is going to turn. And it's it's easy to lose your cool. Then you just stop panicking, and that's when you start making mistakes. So uh, just do me a favor. This is going to sound cheesy, but uh, you got to trust me on this. Take, take a couple of breaths and start listing things you can see around the room. Not just like the stuff to ground you or any of that. No. Just uh, what do you see that can help you? Exits, items, things to focus you. The trick I've been trying. It'll keep you centered in what you need to do. Because trust me, uh, this is not the worst it can go. And I don't want to scare you, but uh, you brought us here for a reason. I know. And you got to see it through at this point. It's just the lizard part of my brain. It's, it's uh, not great. Something happened? I mean, with the with the Riddler while we were gone, separated? <laughs> um... Oh, don't... You know what? No, I'm not gonna tell. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, keep your secrets. <laughs> yes. I'm also just, like, creatively frustrated, so it's just, it's really just a lot of compilation. All but, right. Yeah. I, I'm probably not the best person to give you some sort of creative outlet advice. I've never been that type of person myself, but, uh... I mean, she points to the weird, angry scrawl marks you were starting to put onto the table. I mm -hmm. guess that looks good. You know, sometimes you just need a vessel. It's gonna be pretty hard to put that up on the fridge, though. All right, just uh, just keep it together, kid. It's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. First job is always the hardest one. It uh, gets easier after that. Cool. Should have seen me in my first job. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first job? Like the 40s? I don't mm. know. Okay. All right. I think from behind the thing, the machine knew yeah, What was your first job, Ed? Killing Hitler? <laughs> Great first job. A good Solid first, yeah, first job. Ten yeah. out of ten. Oh, uh, no. No. Trying to steal from... Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Ted Kostopoulos. He has a pawn shop. <laughs> um, bungled it so badly. Uh, Ted. I ended up actually... Uh, selling him stuff. And then we established a great business relationship. So, you know... Hey, he's a good guy. What 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 was the name of the pawn shop? I wrote it down somewhere. Um, yeah, hmm. I'm also not sure if I have. It, I swear to God, it, had, like, like, it was it's, some, it's, it's something criminally. It's so uh, you probably like, came up with it. Kinstopolis, like Ecumenopolis or some bullshit. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So all we know is it's bad. Is a bad baseline, guys. I mean, I we came up with it, so we're aware of it. We know what we're it. like. It's, it's, it's simply Ted's quality pawn shop. Great. <laughs> oh, okay. Simply, that. That's much more reasonable. He might have rebranded, though. Who knows? 
quality pawn shop. I'm writing that down. It's in the notes now. You can't it's get official. any better than that. That's just that's just simple, straightforward marketing. It is a quality pawn shop and definitely not at all a front for money laundering. Not at all. Not high bar here though. I mean, what is an front for money laundering? It's very true. It's Gotham. Are you kidding me? That's very true. All right, no, so most of the laundry guy, mats you know... actually aren't anymore. It's it's yeah, a... that's true. Have you noticed that? Like they're I almost all that. legit. Hmm. It feels feels a little weird. <laughs> like it feels like they, you know, it's like such a good business for it. And like one would think it kind of, it, it feels it's right in the name. It's right there. Oh. Well, everybody's like... got to do laundry, you know. I, I give, I, I put some money, um, some like really grubby cash into a uh, one of these random food vending machines. What do I get, David? Okay. Uh, so three times or four times. <laughs> fair warning. All right. So what are you trying to get? Um, uh, what, what You're are just trying to get some food? Just trying to get a snack. Okay. Uh, dot, dot, dot looks a little hangry, so. Cool. Uh, give me a fortune roll. But straight D6. Straight There's D6. Four. No modifiers. Four mixed success. So you get a food item, but it's bad. What is it? Instead of a, I saw this. Okay, instead of a butterfinger, it's it's a it's a butt finger. <laughs> <laughs> butt finger. It's a knockoff. <laughs> Anything <Wow>. else? <laughs> it's a like knock those were just the words you had to say. Butt finger. <laughs> What a fucking crap! All right, what do I get for the other three? Why does so it like, matter at that point? Do you point? just like do you just put it in? So you put in money, and you, you put choose in money. like a category, and you get a. It's a did the river loot box his employees break? Of course he loot box. No, fucking what you yeah. are actually doing? Oh, I, this bitch I, loves loot boxes and microtransactions, doesn't yeah. he? I, the GM, am asking you what kind of thing you want to get. So I was trying to know... get like a Snickers bar for yeah okay uh, so that for, we know for, uh, dot, like dot, how dot. to judge successes or failures. God, the Riddler, what you are M&Ms. actually physically doing is you put money into this machine, you enter, you put a for all intents and purposes random code into the typing into the buttons of the vending machine, and something comes out. That's what you are physically doing in the space. I'm gonna put in ED five UX as my next uh, thing. Great. This is not an attack on our ed. Okay. Technically, your name is Claude. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, again, what are you trying to get? M and M's. M and M's specific. Or something very similar. Very specifically, M and M's. Okay. Something M and M shaped. Roll it. Oh. Uh oh. That's a six. Fuck you. You get M and M's. It works. <laughs> oh my god. Yay. All right. Yeah. Then, yeah. You get a, uh, you get a package of genuine name brand M and M's. I'm gonna attack each and every one of you and then myself. Uh, I would like to get some beef jerky for Jackie, um, <laughs> and I would like to uh, get uh, a fruit leather for Ollie. Okay. Great. Let's we'll we'll roll those into one roll. Give me another D six roll. The fuck? <laughs> okay. Nice. You get a uh, a plastic spoon. Amazing. And you get a plastic spoon and a rubber duck. And one single slice of pepperoni. Ooh, sturdy are these. Yeah, uh... there's, there's a single slice of pepperoni <laughs> stuck to the underside of the rubber duck. <laughs> I mean, if you if you give me that spoon, I'll turn it into a weapon in a bit. Just no, Ollie is absolutely We've seen giving it you a rubber ducky before. with a slice of pepperoni on it. Um, <laughs> yo, Jackie, and what? Oh, he tosses you a rubber ducky. Oh, I'm getting the rubber duck. Yeah, making it more of a challenge for me. What is this? Why? It's it's got pepperoni on it. Apparently, this is uh... the snack. That that explains nothing. How? Uh, no, it, you know what? This I don't fucking place. Know. This fucking place. This fucking guy. 
Can we? Oh That's fuck! Nice. Can we go? I don't want to be here. Can anymore. I try to get yeah, some medical gotta, supplies? I, I, I wanted to do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Anybody who wants to uh, attempt to recuperate, then you can feel like this should be somewhat weighted um, just because it's it's different than trying to just get anything out of the vending machine. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say we'll weight it to operate because this is kind of operating scientific, yeah, technical, awesome. or medical equipment. Not so, nothing. well, uh, good And luck. then are we up or down a dice because of level? This is a fortune or... roll, so oh, we're safe. not, yeah, so we're, we're not gonna bring levels or, or anything into it. Oh, got two fives. Okay, great. Two five. Cool, so, I got a Jackie. six and a five. Rad. Uh, okay, so Jackie, we'll say you punch in some numbers into the vending machine. You know, we hear the thunk. You reach into the drawer and you pull out um, what What do you think would be most useful to you? Bandages, painkillers, neosporin? Uh, ace you get bandages. Ace bandages? At this okay. Moment. Great. So yeah, you Fuck you get you. you get a yeah exactly. You get a thing of ace bandages. Um, I will say that will give you the standard harm reduction of I... you can take all of your marked harm down one level. I am going to be able to take it all down because I have a special skill, uh, which is. Just a scratch. When you recuperate during downtime, you can reduce all harm down one additional level for free. Perfect. So uh, yeah, yeah I'm see... gonna I'm gonna toss those bandages over to Ollie and be like, I'm gonna need your help with this. Just tie it around as tight as it can go so the ribs stay in place. All right. Uh yeah, whatever. Take off your fucking jacket. Let's get do this shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Jackie will remove the jacket, roll up uh uh her her shirt she doesn't care uh, at this point uh it's just all black now at this at this point we established that that level two harm was was all the rib cage so uh yeah it's, you know, it's gonna be it you're gonna have a oh. real torso rainbow come tomorrow jackie mm -hmm. oh you, are you like good you know is it a job if i don't break at least three other ribs every single time yes yeah yeah it fucking is all you know right. we can look, okay calm down like, look, I get into car accidents all the time. People, You know how many times people try to hit me with a car? It's like the thing. Right, and you know how many times people just try to hit me? Fair enough. All right. Uh, there. Uh, push it. Put uh, Breathe out just a little bit. But keep a little bit of breath in. Yep. Yeah, uh, I know right. how to do this. Let's go. Yep. Just do it real and, fast. And, oh, I just... <laughs> Uh, quick, and quick, uh, you tight. hear Jackie do fake swears because she's trying really hard not to swear. <laughs> you hit, hit I, need, head, I need at least I need at least two. I need at least two I shouldn't have said of that. Jackie's off brand PG swears. <laughs> I need to, I need to know what Jackie would be like in the good place. Wow. <laughs> um. I think so many, t well now, okay, you've got like that fuck, I can't not swear, Marcy can't, but Marcy doesn't have a problem with swearing, you know? <laughs> Just like you've got that, uh, well, that rubber that. duck that you tossed uh, to me, so a lot of them are incorporating just like, son of a duck. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you want more? Because I'm pretty sure they're like cereal based because my brain is just focused on that because I boxed up a lot of cereal today as, as I'm moving. Yes, I need to hear at least <laughs> one cereal based non swear swear. Excellent. <laughs> um, it's literally just, I just have her listing name brands in my, yeah, in my head because yeah. that's all I can do right now. Right. Just frosted. Right. Frosted flakes. flakes. <laughs> and Cheerios. Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can 
sound like a swear if you try and believe in yourself. That's the lesson. That's the real lesson, everyone. The more you know. Everything has a loophole. Yeah. Ed, you got a six. So you get the exact most useful piece of, of medical supplies that you could want. What is it? Um, God, I, I guess it's, I guess it's like a real legitimate splint. Um, okay. Yeah, great. So, you know, we hear the, the thunk and you reach into the vending machine drawer and you pull out a like legit splint, you know, like metal foam line, the whole, like a, a real, you know, a real deal thing. Um, and you can, uh, because you got a six, you're going to be able to take down two levels. So all of your harm will oh, notch down yeah. two. Oh, this feels so much better. And, you know, maybe some pain meds too. Like a bit like the like 800, like little dog, little doggy bag of like the 800 yeah, sure. milligrams of aspirin it's, it's or whatever. It's taped to the splint. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that feels so much better. Is everyone good? Hi. I'm a. I'll just. Uh, Ollie just reaches over and um, pulls a uh, pulls a couple of ibuprofen or whatever out of Ed's bag and just uh, pops them dry. Uh, you're young. What do you need those for? Uh, I actually. I'm trying, where did I get hit, David? I think I just got. I got smashed into the wall. I think your head got smashed into the wall specifically. Ed, okay, maybe Ed. you need that. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was the uh, direct impact of the concrete wall, Ed. Yeah, that'll that that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Yeah. So as you are are, are sort of patching yourselves up here, um, as Ollie is is trying to figure out these vending machines, as dot 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 is kind of kind of seething in the corner. I think everybody uh, has a second to check their phones, and everybody has texts oh god so good uh who, who do we start with let's start with let's start with dot 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 dot, okay. dot. you uh you know you, you had that talk with with jackie and a bit with the rest of the crew right um and uh i think when jackie you know goes over to to get patched up from Ollie you take a second look at your phone what Adam is one of your favorite dishes that your mom makes no why would you do this to me why uh, would I why would evil. I do this this is cruelty I'm a fungo okay oh, so good. yeah so you get, uh, you you see you have a text from your mom. It says, "Don't be late for dinner tonight, Picasso. I'm making my fungo." Um. I love How do you react mom. to this? I love my mom. I hate you, David. <laughs> Could you do this? I supposed to say i can't text back and be like okay like i'm not gonna lie to my yeah, hispanic you, mom yeah, you, you 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 can you can just leave it if you want you don't have to respond but i do want to know how adam reacts i mean this is it it's just absolute <laughs> just frustration and sadness and uh regret and disappointment in himself and a lot of like oh god why did i even get into this industry fuck my whole family uh you know yep tuesday things just just regular yeah. just regular okay regular so that's Gotham that's the thoughts. state that we see adam in as you you know shove your phone back into your pocket jackie this yeah. one is a question. You may or may not have a text. <laughs> D 
Do you, when you check your phone, have any messages from Miri? Keeping in mind that our timeline is Harvey visited the Bad Batch yesterday morning. So Harvey's visit to the Bad Batch was happening while the crew was at Gothbucks doing the heist planning, right? Cool. So do you have a message? Yes. What does it say? I think it just says... I know you're probably busy, but when you get a minute of your time, you should call me. Okay. And, and this yeah. is, Jackie, the first time you've heard from Miri in an in extremely long time since before you were committed to Arkham. Stops her. Uh, there's a lot of questions. How did she get this number? Is she okay? Tone doesn't translate very well over text, so she has no idea what's going on. So I think she would. She can't call right now, but, you know, the big sister energy is strong, so she's going to fire a text back that just says, are you okay? I mean, ignoring the fact that how did you get this number, where are you, blah, 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 which is yeah. what she would love to say, but she's going to keep it very brief because that is the first thing that would enter her mind right now. I think she honestly thinks that it's possible she's in the hospital. Do we get a response? Or... God, you're making me you're making me role play with myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm making you role play um, with yourself via text. You love All right. to see it. Alright, okay. The the answer can there, be no, you know. There it, is... it might be this text you did not oh. respond to her text immediately. Right? Oh, oh David. So Um What happens is this. You see the bubble appear, the dot are running for a good 30 seconds and then it disappears and there is no response. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, I think that's, that's how it is. Mm-hmm. Ed, you have a text from Selena. Yes. It says, missed you at the law office. Glad you're out. Hope it's with friends. Left you a few cans of the chunky soup you like. And then a smiling cat emoji. Mm. I think Ed gets like a little like little smile on his face. Um and um says Yep, having a great time. Thanks, little black cat emoji. Getting into trouble. <laughs> I like, I like that Ed says the sarcastic, ironic dad thing, but it, he's actually getting into trouble. It it just <laughs> something about that just just warms my heart and and tickles a part of my brain in a very satisfying way. All right, and Ollie, you have a text from Scraps, which says, "Cops back." Asking about Purple Beanie again. Keep kids safe. Is this a is this is this a text or a? Oh, it's I guess text. I do. A, yeah, I have a burner phone. Um, yeah, I think Ollie just texts back. I didn't know you knew how to to use uh, to use a cell phone, old man. Um, and uh, and then follows that up with a will do and a thumbs up emoji. Damn. Yeah, and you can you can just feel you don't get a text back, Ollie, but you can just feel like scraps, you know, in another part of Gotham, sitting in the yard, looking at that message on whatever phone he's got, just shaking mm -hmm. his head at you. Look. I am what I am. Indeed. All right. 
Is there anything else that anybody wants to do before y'all head back out into the base and resume your heist? Keeping in mind that, again, you don't have all the time in the world here. Somebody could come in at any moment. So if anybody wants to, like, elaborate on how you clear your stress, you can do that. If there's anything else that you need to do while you're taking a breather, now is the time because you you know that you have this ticking clock and you've got to get back out there. Um, uh... yeah. Ollie needs to clear stress, so... Um... I think Ollie's going to clear stress by uh, using that clipboard to be in the front of one of these vending machines and choosing a snack. <laughs> yeah, I th I think I I think the the sort of order of of operations is you you finish with you know you, you Jackie managed to get the one thing that she needed. You see her having that that one thing that she needs help her her wrap up she goes over and and is now checking her phone she seems very intent on it for some reason all of a sudden um you turn back to the vending machine you look at the rubber duck in one hand you look at the spoon in that you've taken mm -hmm. the rubber duck back from jackie as part of your your you know um oh. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Minstrations. Yes? Yeah, Is that I the guess. word? I don't even yeah. know. What I don't means. know. Sure. Bandaging. I don't know that I like it, but bandaging. it's technically right. Yeah, as part of your bandaging. So you have the duck in one hand, you look down at the plastic spoon in the other, throw them to the ground, grab your clipboard, and just start whack, 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 just slamming the shit out of this vending machine. A good kick, uh, couple kicks in there for good measure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and for, you sh you clear the stress for sure. Um, I know that we're transferring we're transferring the roles over to our to our healing, but let's have a roll with. I mean, you're attacking the vending machine, Ali. Let's have a roll with your attack rating. I am very reasonable. You mean, uh, oh, is this uh, skirmish or prowess? I'm still using the old sheet. Oh, okay. So this would be what was your skirmish rating. So that's that's good. That's because that's my only three pip thing anymore. Whoa, gross. It's a three, two, one or a three, two, fuck for those of you that are aware. Okay. So yeah, this is very therapeutic for you, Ali. Uh, you you just bash the living shit out of this vending machine and you hear something thunk you know the the front of it is just completely just caved and dented in and you hear something thunk into the drawer and you reach in and you pull out um i'm going to say i'm going to say it's um one of those little capsules like you get in the grocery store, you know, in like the, the capsule yeah, machines. Yeah, 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 the little right? plastic dome and then the colorful. Exactly. Yeah. And saucer. it's it's a uh, it's a green plastic cap, which you pop off to see a little plastic, cheap ass plastic figurine of a potted plant with a little smiling face on it. I think Ollie just kind of. <laughs> All right. That's so dumb. All right. So uh, am I clearing stress for that? Your um, stress is 100% cleared. Excellent. Yes. Love that for me. And uh, also my harm from the ibuprofen. My severity one harm. Uh... You didn't roll for the vending machine. I stole some of that ibuprofen. Damn it. Fine. Yeah. I'll roll for the vending machine. Oh, it's a five. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. So what do I get? <laughs> I heard myself uh, on that one. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, after you slam the shit out of this vending machine, you get the capsule and you reach back in just to see if anything else dropped out. Um, and you pull out uh, a Tylenol, a little packet of Tylenol. So now like you have a little Bodega get, packet. Yeah. So you, you've had both the uh, ibuprofen and uh, acetaminophen. Which is great. not good. Not, not great. It's not the best. I wouldn't do it personally. Don't have any drinks, Ollie. I've done it. So <laughs> you're so we you do the standard harm reduction here. All so harm down my, one level. Yeah. And so I am harm free and stress free, right. though you wouldn't know it looking at me. <laughs> yeah, All same. Right. Ironically, uh I, I should have more stress. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody else have anything that they want to do at this juncture? Um or is it time to get going? One very quick thing. I think yep. that outside of the loft, um, there's like a feral cat colony. Um, and Ed has mm. set up like a little like cat cam. So um, while Ollie's beating the oh. fucking shit out of the vending machine, he's like, well, puts in his AirPods, puts on his calming rain sounds, and is just uh, watching the feral cats. Um, who he feeds, you know, and stuff. He and Selena probably feed, like, you know, getting up to their business. Great. I well, also adore my that. goddamn heart. Oh. How could you do this? What's going on, Andre? It's beautiful. Why would you do that? <laughs> you know, there in all okay. of us, there exist two wolves: the butt fingerer and the Stop. feral cat colony. You ruined it. And, and Maddie has really <laughs> no. exemplified this for us today, <laughs> and I think we should all be grateful. Who rouses Ed from his his rain sounds cat cam reverie? It, yeah. To. Uh, to let him know it, it's time to get going. Yeah. Me. So. All right, let's get going. God. Okay. And with that, you will head back out into the Riddler's base and slightly more dangerous territory. So. The four of you um, sort of peek your way out of the double cafeteria doors, check to see that nobody is coming, and you head down the hall. Uh, once again, we are in these uh, sort of very, uh, very sterile office halls, the diffuse light overhead, the polished concrete floor below, the, you know, beige walls of the hall here. And you make your way what, uh, who's, who's leading the way? It would make sense at least for dot 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 to be navigating yeah. But I, okay. I would like to take point with dot dot dot. Great. Okay. So the two of you are are sort of up front and uh Ollie and Ed are, are close behind and dot 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 you are leading the the group further into the base towards where you know the secure storage is. Um as you head down, you, you take a couple of turns, and as you head down one of the corridors, you pass a, a door, sort of a nondescript, uh, standard kind of office door, and you can hear banging behind it, uh, and some sort of muffled shouting. You hear... Help! Help me! Help! Uh, uh, what I know about this? You could take a guess, certainly. Guess that this is just another one of the hostages for one of Riddler's fucked up little games. 
Um, it's in he like just a... keeps them here. I don't know. I should, they oh, just okay. uh, I just make the death traps, and he he brings the potluck. I don't know. Like, uh, what a Heck? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay. All right. That's my boss. Careful. Um, and uh, dot 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 will open the door. Who's in there? Okay. All right. So you you pause. You you open the door slowly, um, and you see a uh utility closet basically yeah it's a it's a teeny tiny little room single light bulb overhead there's metal shelving with some industrial cleaning supplies um you definitely catch a stronger whiff of that industrial what did we decide it was lime and lavender was lavender the, baby yeah lime and lavender the the industrial scent of lime and lavender cleaning supplies. Uh, there's a couple of brooms and mops leaned back in the corner. And in the center, under that light bulb, uh, you see what appears to be a young woman who has been reaching out with her leg and kicking the door. Uh, she appears to be chained to a chair in the center of this utility closet with a bag, a purple bag over her head. Um, is, is it monogrammed? Is it monogrammed? <laughs> or does it just have a stupid question mark on it? It, it has a question mark. No, off no offense to your hat, Andre. I just hate this little man. It's, no, you can hate him. <laughs> you know in, char can. in character, I hate him. Out of character, I, he's my baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the dichotomy know, should, of the we human shouldn't condition. Judge. <laughs> we shouldn't judge. We have no leg to stand on, but I'm going to anyway. Every, everyone has a terrible baby girl. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so... We all do. Um, so yes, this, this is what you say. Right. Okay. Jackie's just going to walk in and pull the thing yeah, off Yeah, and you can... Her. Okay, cool. So as, as you do that... Uh, you see this this young woman just blinking in the in the light. Um, she looks to be in her early twenties. Um, she has a um, uh, sort of like a, a cool haircut. Uh, I, I'm gonna say like um, very much the like uh, Gen Z like parted down like straight down the middle and i think her what color is her hair dyed it's dyed up it's dyed a bright color okay great so it's dyed bright pink with the with the sort of roots very obvious right and in this sort of like ombre um and she she sort of blinks uh, and looks at you you you've done this jackie Give me a roll. You are, I think, certainly, ma make me an alternate argument if you'd like, commanding this yes. woman. No, to 100%. Keep fucking Just quiet. Don't scream. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, I am going to say you certainly, uh, yeah, she's level zero. So okay, you have so a level cool. on her. An extra dice. And. Nice. Yes, so you have, oh, sweet. Three dice. you have one extra for having a level. Um, you can always push yourself, take a devil's bargain. No, I've got I've got three dice. I'm going to see how it plays. Yeah, do it. There's two or four and a three. And a five. Five, four, three. Okay. Mixed success. Okay, so she'll, she'll stay quiet, but uh, immediately it's... Okay, like, who the fuck are you guys? This is awkward, but I don't think you work for the Riddler, so it doesn't really much matter. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't think I, like, work for the Riddler? Yeah, cool. Like, oh. I'm chained up to a chair in a closet. Oh, I figured. By, um, yeah, by uh, a bunch of 
guys in weird question mark suits. Yeah, yeah he's like, I, a, I mean, it's a you great know, guess. He, technically, you <laughs> could not, work here. You never know. <laughs> we're, we're, Where the we've fuck? We've got am our own I? agenda. We're in the Ace Headquarters building downtown Gotham. What? Who are you? JJ. All right, JJ. Yeah. Jillian Jorts. Call me JJ. Okay. Unconventional way to meet you, but uh, you can call me Jackie. And uh, do you want to get out of here? Uh, yeah. I fucking want to get out of here. Do you know why you were taken? I don't know, man. It's Gotham. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'm going to see Wait. if I can get you out of here. The Jillian Jorts? Like, uh, your dad, the, he does the, the crossword yeah, puzzles. Yeah, yeah, my George? dad does the crossword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's right. I oh, I'm love... so sorry. I forgot. Um, okay. Yeah, I fucking yeah. if, love his crosswords. If you Jackie's get me out of here, puzzle, I'll, like, life. get him to sign your crossword puzzle or some shit. Just please. Oh, my God. Yeah, my dad is very cool, okay? I it, listen, it's gonna be okay, Jillian. Really? It's like going into dad mode. We're gonna get you out of here. We're 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 here for you. Um, I'm so glad we found you. Everything's gonna be okay. I I, I promise. Here, we get look, you out have of this here. rubber duck. <laughs> Do you just like okay? So, uh, so I think what you notice, Ed, uh, as as you hand her the rubber duck, is, um, her. Her hands are chained behind her back, and there are chains that wrap around the chair, um, and they all converge at this little metal box on her chest, which seems to link all of the chains together. Oh, God. <laughs> of course. Uh, and there is a three-by-three three grid of tiles on the front of the box that have letters on them. Travel. Oh, it's crossword puzzle. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a three or by like, three. Or grid. like, no way. Okay. Is this a god? Is this one of the mini games the New York Times does? It's like a wordle, if you will, potentially. Wordle. Okay, so it's a. Yeah, they, um... they do. They do the mini. They do the mini crossword. So, yeah. Do you want so? Ed, I think you sort of reach forward and maybe you just sort of drop the duck into her lap because obviously yeah. she can't take it. Um, and that's when you get a good look at this box. Uh, do you want to inspect it any further? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So three by so you're looking at a, a box. It is a three by three grid of tiles. It reads uh, L-U-T-E. Then there's a blank tile which is sort of receded right and then m-o-t-e mm -hmm. so loot space moat loot moat loot and space on the top of the box you can see a big red button and on the bottom of the box there are attached a pair of um small cylinders Okay, so sorry. Could what's on the top of the box? Big red button. Big red button, and then the letters L U T M O T. Those are in the grid, right? Yep. Yeah. So and they're then, like so they're like light so colored. Be... They're like a like a you know white cream colored tiles, and then there's a there's a a blank, um, which is like a it's it's a, a space that doesn't have a tile in it. Okay, I'm. I'm just struggling to vis. Sorry, I'm like struggling to visualize because it's a three by three grid, right? Um, yes. So okay. the and the letters are in the grid. Yes. Sorry. So they okay. they don't. So you the the fir the top is L U T. Okay. The okay. middle is E, and then the blank tile, and then M, and the bottom row is O T E. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 
here. I'll I'm going to drop an um, image in the Discord. I want you to confirm this is what it looks like. <laughs> yes. Let's let's All go right. to the let's go to the tape. Like this. That's Oh, it's let me out. And we just got to wiggle it around. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Hopper, you're a goddamn fucking genius. Holy oh, I shit. Have, I'm, I'm uh, literate. Yeah. I just needed to see it. I believe Hopper has is now two for two, because I believe Hopper solved the other one I, as well. I'm yeah. big mad because I did have that written down, but you beat me to it, to saying it. <laughs> I just, yeah. Look, I, I wrote it I, down in anagrams. An, I wrote it, I love an anagram. Anagrams. I wrote it down in a straight line. Oh, I just I wanted just to looked. make sure I wasn't overthinking it because I thought you said it had a split in the middle rather than it being round. Yes. It's, it's one so of those stupid it. little things where you slide stuff slide around. Puzzles. Oh God, I love, I love those. Them. Yep, that's what it is. So I was so fixated on it being a crossword. I was like, what could the missing letter be? So funny because I was literally going to suggest, uh, I was going to suggest that if it was a wordle, I was going to suggest we start with out. Yeah, well, I was writing down because uh, I with anagrams you I, I write them in a straight line and then I was mushing different words together. So who I hate, I just manipulate. I had, I had a number of, of letters. This is an operate. Um, I you solved it, so I'm not okay. going to make you roll for it. I, I just want to know who takes I mean, point. Um, I mean, I'll. I, I mean, I can do it since I'm up there. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the person Ollie, that solves it Ollie, takes point. Ollie says yeah, over yeah. your shoulder. Ollie just yeah. leaves, leans past but all of you and just like kind of like over like over uh, Ed's shoulder just goes skip, 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 and then puts it on. Oh, nice one. Does it turn green this. when I do the thing? It does not. So you've 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 rearranged the letters to let me space out on the three rows in sequence. They're like a thing we need oh, to push or the 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 button. Oh. And, yeah. And you push the red button on the top of the box, you hear a click of mechanisms from inside and all of the chains go uh, go slack as they all disconnect from the box, which drops into JJ's lap. Much of a trap. Okay, I guess you guys are like, you know what you're doing. Cool. I'm glad that you're the ones who showed up. Yeah, you could save your thanks for later. Uh, how good are you at uh, getting out on your own? Uh, n n not good? What? I don't know That's where I am. I came in here with a bag over my head. I, no, no, no. Uh, you, you got it. You got it. No. You got to no. guide me out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not how this is going to work. Well, she's just going to have to come with us because. No, like. That's not it either. That's not it either. You seem like you're capable. I am not. Listen, I am not fucking walking around here alone. No way. Okay. No way. I will okay. sit in this closet. No, you. that would be a bad idea. Yeah, no uh, shit, that would be a bad idea. So, but you can't come with us. Wherever you're going, and, and, yeah, I can. We're not leaving. You need to get out of here. Okay, well, I'll go with you for wherever you're going, and then you're gonna no. leave eventually, oh, right? No, 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 no. Oh, you don't, no, you don't know what no. you're gonna Look, get yourself you just into. Walk. I'm. You just walk back there. There's a break room back there. We've cleared out some other guards. If you get, if you get to there, you get to the elevator. You can get down to a loading station and get the hell away from here. But if anybody like, sees her on the way out, the they're gonna. Break room is. I don't know where like the elevator is. What? I think she's gotta come with us. No. No. Nah, we are not. Her, like, we, like Jack, Jackie shit. is going to like huddle you guys away. Like we're having like. Uh, <laughs> uh, like we're in football a, a practice. Team, a team timeout session here, where it's just yeah. like, are you insane? We can't no, manage I'm... a hostage. I mean, why don't we just like. I don't know. Give her a gun. Um, I mean, but like, like Ed, the for, no, but for Ed, real. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Them. Guys, this is so easy. Hold on. Wait. I don't have one. Okay. I don't have guys, a gun to give her. I've got this. 
Hold on. I'll just take her with me. My studio. Well, I'll rebag her. Because. Um, no, you won't. Yeah, well. Why not? Why? Why not? Like re nice. rebag? Like like put the bag on her head again? Yeah. That just sounds like you're taking her prisoner again. I mean, yeah, but she's with me, so it's cool. I mean... And you're gonna lead so her out? Or you're just gonna take a prisoner again and put it in your office? No, I'm taking her back to my studio. If the Riddler runs into you again, um, which came, seems to keep, you know, happening, um, how are you going to explain this? Like, oh yes, I took the hostage out, and now I'm taking her to my studio. Like... I, she was making a bunch of ru ruckus, and I, I needed and to secure her. And then she's back in the same situation that she started. Yeah, but it's further away from a locked closet. Jackie doesn't trust you. Uh, straight up, Adam is the is the is the problem because you <laughs> did so. you I did so. lead this mission by saying I want to be a super villain. I did do that. I did so, probably do that. that, that is Jackie thing isn't that going... Did. Jackie's fine with letting this girl try to do this on her own. She's not cool with you walking away with her. Okay. Look, so say we don't... Say we just... Uh, no matter what, coming up with us is with us is probably a bad idea. It's 100% a bad idea. Yeah, well, she doesn't know that. She's... what? She's the... Crossword editor's daughter? that like yeah. a prestigious thing Jackie's going to go like, back over to like Joe and be like look do you want look. the tea the tea e oh tea yeah fuck me up fam all right so okay yeah pissed. are you really are you going to take me out of here or what look hold okay. on we we're, we're not the good guys here. You don't want to be near us, okay? It's going to get messy, it's going to get violent, and you're going to get hurt because you're a kid. You should get out of here. I, I I can try to tell you the safest way that we just came from, so I know it's a little bit clearer. But you're going to get hurt if you stick with us. This fucking sucks. Oh my God. You live here. You, <laughs> would you, you rather take a Gotham would you State? rather take a chance sticking around with us and probably getting yourself killed, or would you rather, you know, walk out of here on your own? You might get hurt, but you might make it out alive. I can't. You're gonna have to decide one or the other, Jackie. And I can't believe I said that. Hmm. Yes, you have given her two choices. Choices two. And now she must pick between the twain. There's only two choices and two choices only. Are you the Riddler? What a conundrum. Is Marcy Jackie the Riddler? Yeah. Give me, I think we're looking at a, a roll to sway. Okay. JJ I got one point there. Cool. So you're starting with one. You have one for the level that you have on her. All right, that's two. Do you want to push yourself? Do you want to take a devil's bargain? For my own, uh, the the the, the, the writer in me must ask what the yeah, fuck a yeah. devil's bargain sounds like in this moment. I have. To I mean, know. uh, like the devil's bargain is. Um, the devil's bargain is you will persuade her to if you if you successfully persuade her to go at this on her own she will be caught again like in the back of your head Jackie you know that she legitimately cannot make it All right, well I'm not taking you. it but that's very good Okay, that's what it would I'm be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the two. I'm not gonna push okay. myself on this. Oh, a six. Wow, a six and a one. Wow. The full spread. Wow. The full spread. Well, the six has it. Okay, so she is going to, she, she's going to accept this. I mean, I asked her to choose one. I didn't say which one she should choose. Oh, well. Uh, 
run the choice by me again because I I thought that you were. I said you're gonna I have that to you decide. Were pushing. Yeah. Okay. So like, what's the? Do you, you want to stick decision? with us and and almost certainly get hurt, or do you want to take a chance on the route that we map out for you, and maybe it's a little less dangerous. So which one? You got the six. Which one do you want her to pick? I mean, I I I am worried if she stays with us, she'll get killed. She'll just be collateral. Okay. And at the very least, so... if she goes on her own, I don't have to see it. I'm worried wow. if she Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm worried like if she goes off on her own, like she will like get herself she will get herself killed or recaptured and then we're not gonna be able to find her. Like we're not gonna be able to help her and yeah. if she stays with us. I don't know how to there I don't know how to help her. There is a distinct possibility. Uh but and Jackie it's is not more guaranteed because you didn't that. take that devil's bargain. So there's that. Okay, cool. So she uh she she's like okay fucking fine i guess that's all the help i'm gonna get out of you guys i'll go on my own just tell me where to go and i i don't i don't know what can you give me like a bat or something bat uh, Ollie hands the the steel case clipboard. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If anybody asks, just tell them you're doing fucking safety checks or some shit. Oh. Okay. I thought you were like telling me to hit somebody with it. Oh, no. you can also, you can do, also that. do that. You can do that. Like it'll it, that'll fuck somebody up. That's all steel. That's like good yeah. Uh, I saw classic. absolutely not the guy cool, out with cool, cool. that. Uh, Jackie's gonna re outline the route in a little bit more detail for her and just just be quiet be quick you can get out of here fuck okay yeah thanks I guess welcome Good luck um and she gets up out of the chair kind of you know dusts dusts herself off, uh, hefts the clipboard, looks up and down the hallway, and then scurries off out of sight around the corner. I uh, hope she knows what she's doing. I mean, clearly she doesn't, so. But at she least we don't better. have to then a better chance of getting out of here alive if she's not with us. Come on, Ed. Like, Probably fucking true. I don't know. I mean, she, she has no combat skills. She has nothing. Like, as if she's she gets seen, she's... That's it, you know? Like... She gets seen, she's probably gonna get retaken. If she's with us, she's gonna get shot. Okay. Alright. That's fair. That's, let's let's I just, just... I just... It just doesn't feel right. I guess that's fair. We look like the hero type here. That's the best I can manage. It's just I don't know. Keep going. Where the fuck are we going? We're going to the damn payroll room. Let's get what we came here for and get right out of here. You guys? Maybe oh. we'll run into her on the way out. You guys still need a, the the password for the lock, right? Oh yes, God, yeah. right. Sorry. Do. Um, Unless this is something that dot 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 you got earlier in a flashback. Ooh, baby. You could, okay. You could go. Yeah, you could go get it now, or you can declare, "Here's what I did earlier," and we'll flash back to it. It's back into the past of my recollections, <laughs> and I summoned it in my mind field. Uh, okay. Yesterday, yesterday. Um, yeah. So uh, we network. we flash back to the previous day. Um, how did you go about getting the answer to today's door puzzle from Riddler's head of security, who we? Uh, no is goes by the moniker carrot. Carrot. 
Okay, so... Uh... Go up to Karen. Knock, 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 knock. On that door. Yeah, so Carrot has an office. Carrot has an office. Cool. Cool. Um, I kind of actually like the idea that that Carrot as head of security, this office would be where all the security camera feeds go to. So when when the door opens, you know, you see a you see a room that's just lined with a bank of screens. Uh, and you can see the cameras with the different feeds all around uh, at least uh, uh, at least the sort of office parts of Riddler's base. What what's Carrot's deal? What's their vibe? Carrot. What do they look like? What's their what's their personality? Do we know their real name? Tell I don't know Carrot. Carrot's real name, but Carrot's a cool dude. Uh, Carrot has grills. Um, Carrot's cool. got brass knuckles. Uh, bedazzled brass knuckles. Um, uh, Carrot's not, like, like, jacked, but he's, like, thick fit. He's, like, dad bod kind of vibes. Okay. Um, uh, I'd say he's, like, Maybe upper 40s, lower 50s uh, has worked security and various gigs, both legitimate and criminal. Yeah, um, he's probably at this point bounced around a couple of different like big name villains who who he's worked security for. Um, and. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say he's he also wears um, sunglasses inside. Great. Wears sunglasses uh, inside, so we know he's cool. <laughs> That's All right, so actually true. Yeah. So the uh, so the the door to the security office opens. We see uh, backlit by this bank of screens, carrot standing there um i want to i want to give him like a i want to give him like a very like a like he, he's wearing sort of like a cool streetwear athleisure outfit in green yes 100 percent. you know he's got like uh he's got like some some like really like fresh joggers uh and uh and like a you know just like a like a a I think there's no branding on it, but it's the sort of hoodie that you can tell is like a a pretty like it's like high, high quality high end hoodie. Yeah, it's it's yeah. high quality without being like ooh Gucci Supreme. It's like no, yeah. it's just it's just good shit. Right, it's just tight. It's just so tight. yeah, yeah. So he uh, he opens the door. Dot dot dot, my man. How you doing? Okay. How's it hanging? It's going all right. What boss. up? What up? What uh, up? I uh, I need the password for the payroll room for tomorrow. Password for the payroll room, <laughs> buddy. You know I ain't supposed to give that out. <laughs> I can't just I can't just tell you that. Look, what do you need it for? So, leans in. So there's actually one more pass list we've been working on. And we need it. We need it in the stash with all the rest. But it's not going to be done until tomorrow. There's some hitches. We came into it today. That's just how it went. And those things creep me the hell out. You know that dot dot dot. No, but like, isn't it like kind of cool? Yeah, it's cool, man, but it's fucking scary. And couldn't you see that like on one of your like hoodies on your back? Just be like. Ooh. Nah, man, what if I looked in the mirror and I fucking killed myself? You have eyes in the back of your head, dude? Listen, when you work security, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head. Alan. Alan. Um. Okay, so you've come up with a plausible story. Yeah. You are, I think, 
sway seems the closest to me, right? You were okay. trying to sway Carrot into giving you this password, right? right. Um, so I, I'm going to say sway. Sway makes okay. sense to me. So let's have a roll with sway. Um, Carrot, uh, does Carrot have a level on you? I think that's fair. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think that I assigned... I don't think I assigned Carrot a level specifically. So Carrot is going to use the Riddler's level of two. So Carrot has one has one level on you. So you're down one to start. Um, I, I I wouldn't call this a desperate situation. Um, and you can always push yourself or take a Devil's Bargain. Devil's Bargain, baby. Devil's Bargain. Um, <laughs> Devil's Bargain. When we flash forward, you know who's going to be there. Ya boy. No. Karen. Ah. Oh, but I don't even have it on a file. I just have the fucking painting. Right? Or did I scan it? The the new one that you made? The new one, the angry. You physically had yeah, you you drew that by hand. But you did um... make that as a decoy specifically to be able to say, I'm going to put this in the vault. So this you is could try to rely purchase. on that. Yeah. Um. Okay. I I I will take that devil's bargain. Ooh, let's, okay. let's do it. Let's do Great. it. Okay. So you get the extra d6. It's a six. Woo! All right. Yay! Cool. Not worth it. Uh. All right. So carrot kind of leans against the door. All right, ma'am, whatever, whatever. Whatever gets those things out of here faster, <laughs> that's all right by me. All right, so uh, let me see here. Thursday, Thursday, yeah. Thursday, Thursday. Um, and he's like flipping through um, a notepad. Uh, all right, I got down here Thursday, wrote 13. R O T one three, R O T one three. Okay. Uh, sweet. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, no problem. Just, man, like, just don't tell the boss that I uh, that I told you that because I really ain't supposed to tell you that. Okay. You want to know a secret? This was supposed to be done today, so don't tell him either. Yeah, I I I got it. I got that much. Okay. All right. Stay safe out there, kid. See you later, Carrot. Um, and, and and they high five. He, he he just gives you yeah. You do you do like a a very a very like loose cool high five. Yeah. Uh, and you uh you turn away with the solution to tomorrow's door puzzle. Pay one stress, as this has occurred in a flashback. Ready. And we swoosh back to the present day where the four of you head uh, down the hallway away from the utility closet. And as you're walking, who should turn the corner but Carrot? Which is where we're going to leave it for now. Hey oh! oh. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and at my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomless Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. I um, uh, also want to shout out 
my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash Andre Rivera Art, we can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, uh, as well as many collaborations with uh, my my dear, dear, wonderful uh, Super Dylan, uh, including uh, at, at the time of recording, our newest uh, collaborative game, American Werewolf Biker Club, which is very fun. You should check it out. I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and is, uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act- uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing flights of fandom. Um, We've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, And uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, As I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.